Today we're hearing from a Greenville apartment complex at the center of a tenant complaint over unlivable conditions. It's a story none of your side's been following all week long. WNCT's Madison Forsey is live near the complex on East 10th Street. Madison, what are managers saying about the problems? A representative from Copper Beach sent us a statement today and is putting the blame on Hurricane Isaias and an accelerated move in schedule with ECU starting classes two weeks early. Mark Evans acknowledges a number of units were in unacceptable condition. He says they've been in contact with affected tenants and are working to make sure the apartment meets their high standards. He closes by saying they're deeply sorry for the inconvenience. Greenville Code Enforcement officers met with property managers today and we're still working to figure out the results of that meeting. But what can tenants do if they find themselves in a situation like this? Well, the Better Business Bureau says if you see damage when you're moving in, take a picture. That documentation will help prove that you're not responsible for the damage. Bureau reps advise you to contact property managers and maintenance workers to alert them to the damages. They also say doing plenty of research before you sign an apartment lease can save you time and hassle. Go see the property in person and look for some of those red flags. You know, is there lawn care taken care of? Do you see maintenance projects that are maybe unkempt or, or unfinished? Because that can be a sign, you know, if you're seeing those trends outside the property, that could be a sign that they're letting other things go, maybe inside of the apartment. Copper Beach tenants found out when they did not hear from management, they could go to city code enforcement office or the county housing authority. Both of those groups help people out with identifying violations and telling them what their rights are in a situation like this. Now, Madison, what changes are Copper Beach tenants seeing? Well, the ones that I've talked to today say that now they have air conditioning, which they've been without for the past four days, and they've seen management and maintenance come through and make some smaller repairs, but they didn't specify any timeline of when the rest of the damage would be fixed or if they would be receiving compensation for what Copper Beach calls an unacceptable situation. For now in Greenville, Madison 4C9 on your side.